Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we went through the calculation of one beam supported by rigid connection to both ends and under a harmonic load in the center. Now I'm going to solve the same beam with ANSYS and to see how it should be modeled in transient analysis. Transient structural analysis, we need to model the beam. The beam was HEA200 that we can simply model it by shell. We can fill this and typically I prefer to bring the section to the center of the coordinate. So you just need to bring it here. I can deactivate this part. You can also change the color if you please. And in two directions, we are going to have to pull the surface in two directions, totally five meters. This is a solid, we need to change it to shell element. You can just simply select this part and then you have it. Again, I come back to the model. Some adjustment with the command of pull. Both sides. It's done. We have three surfaces right now. As far as I'm going to apply the load in the center, it's better to cut these to another element. For that, first I make a plane in the center and then we can use the split body, select all of them, select this one. Now we have this uh, system split to two parts. Then we need to share topology. And we're ready from here. Now we can continue with the model. First meshing. Base meshing would be a good option here. The size 50 millimeter might be quite enough. Here we have the fixed support at one end. The other end as well. And also I'm going to apply a load on this line, which is a remote force. And it's in y direction and it should be as a function. So here we can write down minus 981 Newton times sinus. It was 20 radian per second. As far as we are in degree, we need to change this value to degree. So times 180 divided by 3.14 times time. And here you can see how it looks like. Then we need to have the steps, two seconds might be quite enough. And here we can go with sub steps. We can go with 100, it's not taking so long. I'm going to not to use the second order effect for the decay, I use zero. And damping is also zero. We can just solve it and check the results. Some differences might be there because we use the uh, moment inertia directly from the table. Here the shell elements are connected together and they are forming the, sec the section. And for example, the root effect is completely neglected in this calculation. Directional deformation in y direction and then we can check the results. 
here we can see that it's something around 0 0.12 to minus 0 0.12 we calculated almost 0 0.11 the results are quite close to each other and here you can adjust the motion for example in 10 seconds and also 100 frames this is 2700 bigger let's go with 500 to see no 1000 might be good and then here you can see how it looks like consider that the effect of the weight is not considered in this calculation at all as for us we do not have any acceleration here in the settings we directly added the load here so if we add that one then we have a static load which is completely different from the dynamic deformation now we can also compare with what we had here is our calculation uh, for the same problem same question here you can see that the solution is not 100 percent harmonic we have some transient in between the same as you can see here so pretty the same the only difference is that it goes down for us it came upward and the reason is that we didn't use this value to be negative other than that everything looks to be the same we have almost similar occurrences for that and that's all that's the end of this example we modeled the same beam with uh, ANSYS and we compared the results I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.